How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to the 100% walkthrough for Lives of Pete. So we're on our oh, way. No. Hey, uh, so there's something horrible in front of the hotel. It might be worse than what we saw at the cathedral. All right, tighten up your springs and let's go. We are on our way to fight the boss of the area, which Gemini just said is in front of the hotel. So that's essentially what's blocking us from uh, teleporting uh, to the hotel or anywhere else right now. So need to take that out in order to progress further. So this encounter is going to uh, deal some decay potentially. So I want to put on the purification ampule. Help out with that. And fire is going to be good here as well. So let's get in there and meet the corrupted parade master. So this guy has a lot of delayed swings, much like the, the first parade master. Uh, he does have a grab attack that he'll kind of suck you up, and that is different too. He jumps on the ground and then does several slams, so be aware of that. Uh, but yeah, the grab attack, he will suck you up and cause decay instantly when he does that. He's gonna puke out some buddies too. Yep, there he goes. But you don't really have to worry about them. I mean, they're slow. Goes with the slams again. That does cause decay. Remove that. Again. Like I said, he's got some wild swings and that attack, that red attack. Oh god, he caught me with the grab. <laughs> so when he kind of reaches back, that's the tell for the for the grab. It's not really too, too obvious, but that is the tell for it. My weapon actually broke here. So, we're going to have to do something about that. Interesting with the coil. But he is almost down, so. Puking up some more buddies. Keep spamming this attack, which is actually kind of good. There we go. Should be able to pull this out here. not too terrible, as you can see. And it seems like he can, either he's bugged out right now or he can pretty much bait out that that belly flop and slam attack. 
do be aware that his buddies hang around down in the back. Okay. So overall, not too bad. Just gotta be aware of the. So what's the happening UK now? That Let's you get saw. back to the hotel and our friends. I did a number of on my weapon, so did not cure it in time before it actually broke my weapon. But we pulled out a victory. Now there is nothing in the courtyard this time for the hotel. Just running around just to make sure, but 99% sure there is nothing. So the Helltail was under attack, and as you can see, they did a number on the place. You're alive. I was worried because I didn't hear from you. The stalkers have kidnapped Geppetto. It was the fox, the cat, and the black rabbit brotherhood. But really, I sense Simon is behind this. First. Go to the second floor, and make sure everyone is okay. I'll try to figure out where they ran off to. Antonia might know a secret passage. Try asking her. First, go to the Antonia might know a secret... Okay. So let's talk to everybody upstairs. Fix the stargazer. So we can level up here. There we go. Get that 30 vitality. has been kidnapped. You're here. That's a relief. Being trapped somewhere. It's the worst. It's good to be free. Oh, sorry. I should be thanking you first. When you came in, you reminded me of the Hound. Probably because both of you saved my life. Thank you so much. You're here. That's a relief. It's good to be... When you came in, you reminded you Let's just go around talking to everybody. For saving Master Benini, sir. Do look after him, won't you, sir? You have my do look after. Thank you for another timely rescue, compagno. I seem to find myself once again in your debt. I talk a big game, but when push comes to shove, I freeze. It'd be funny if it weren't so pathetic. Surely there must be something that only I, in all my genius, can contribute. But if there is not, then Vedini is here to help you in any way he can. Fear not. Yeah. Thank you for a night talk. Surely. Thought it was dark in here. Ah, uh, you know what? First, let's talk. Child. Oops. Geppetto 
trying to talk to Palandina first. The alchemists planned the whole thing. Oh, why we were hiding here. I certainly didn't expect an attack on the hotel. The possibility never crossed my mind. However, I think we can track them down. My portrait. Behind it lies a passageway to their base. The hotel had an accommodation with the alchemists. <laughs> Long ago. Play this chord on the piano in my room. It'll open the secret passageway. And you can save Geppetto. Okay, so suddenly... There is a secret passageway that Antonia is telling us about. Okay, so we have two quartz. Uh, so let's activate another node, P organ. Uh, this time we're going to get. Uh, let's see. So. It's either. Get some fable slots or uh, get link dodge. So fable slots, link dodge. Uh, these uh, over here, four or three rather. So gonna need to get one with two to open the uh, the next phase. So, we're going to go with Fable Slots, actually. So let's see. We want... Which one are we going to get here? Uh, let's get Auto Charge Pulse Cells. Charged, which is really good. And then we will also get, let's see, Potentially charge Fable when reviving. Yeah. The weapon durability recovery speed and uh, weapon durability consumption are going to be ones we get later on. Yeah, so let's get charge Fable when reviving. Okay, so now over here we get... Uh, another Legion Arm slot if you want it. Cube uses, staggerable window, and guard regain recovery. Uh, so we will get some of those later on. As you can see, our nose is still growing there. That is a good thing. It was a planned ambush. I'm afraid there's nothing we could have done about it. More than anything, I'm concerned about how it shocked Lady Antonia. All this mayhem is certainly going to affect her condition. No matter what fate brings us, serving her... Welcome to... You have my personal thanks. Do look after... Making Thank sure you for surely then. Making sure everybody's dialogue is updated. And let's see. Let's get Falcon Eyes. It's like I said, if you have all the Legion Arms now, you should get a achievement or a trophy. And we have four Legion calibers. So why don't we start maxing out the puppet string? Okay. 
You are here. It's good to be free. When you came in. Okay. Everybody's dialogue is updated. So over here is where we're gonna play the chord. Uh, we're not gonna do that quite yet. So if you remember correctly, we have a cryptic vessel to go get the treasure for. And also, I believe we can also talk to the uh, broken puppet. Yep, so back at Baron Swamp. Show him another, another gesture. What have you come to tell me? I'm uh, being angry for someone else's sake. I think it's brave. I hope I find someone I can be brave for. Thank you so much. Okay. There will be one more emotion that we or gesture that we can show him later on. We're also going to go back and get the Trinity door here at Crot Central Station Lobby. Pick up one of my favorite outfits in the game. in here. This. Okay, so we get the workshop master gear. And the carrier's amulet plus one. Okay, so let's slap that bad boy on. Looks really good. Like that a lot. Okay, so now we have to go back to good old Baron Swamp Bridge, talk to Hugo, and then we'll see that that door is now open by him. And it's a whole mini little zone in there, so should take up the rest of this episode to take care of that. But we can uh, we can get some quartz and oh, some other good things. Oh, you're here! See, I told you I'd do it. No trace of Aladoro inside, though, and the Hermit's Cave itself is too deep for me. My next stop is the relic of Trismegistus, one of Aladoro's favorite treasure hunting grounds. I'm curious why he'd go back there time after time. Oh, maybe I'm getting the hang of this sort of work. See you later, treasure hunter. I'm trying to track down Mr. Okay. So there are uh, some traps in here. First, let's pick up this. As you can see, little trip wires here. So you're going to have to keep an eye out for those. So this place is kind of. Kind of odd in its setup. It's gonna wind around on itself, but just kind of odd. So first, we want to go over here, drop down, and get this loot over here. Okay. 
And we're gonna want to put on the fire dagger because there's carcasses in this area. Oops. And to jump over that other platform. Did not work, apparently. Okay, so that goes across. But we have the availability to come over here. Get that. And there's an item inside here we can drop down and get. Up ahead there, there's another trap. Get this item first. See another tripwire right there. I'm trying to jump on your head. And take care of them. There is a stargazer in this area that we'll get to as well. There we go. Trip that. Obviously, it's beneficial to try and get the enemies to get hit with those. So we're going to drop on this sleeping beauty. Here comes one with the wine bottle. Whatever she's drinking. There is a quartz in here or a legion caliber? Quartz. Okay. All right. So grab that stuff. Now we're going to add a cross. It's kind of confusing in its layout. Okay, so before we head over that way, that's towards the Stargazer. We're actually going to go backtrack a little bit. And we're going to go back to where we came from. Right across here. Actually, I'm back this way. Back up the ladder. And across over here. 
there is a... This is where we pretty much first entered. There is a... Disruption crystal up here, so be wary of that. Now that would have been... Actually would have been better if they... Uh, would have followed me. Trip that little tripwire. I do want to jump across that other platform that I missed before. Here. There we go. Not that a sawtooth wheel is that important, but. Okay. So now, take this thing out. Run back here a little bit. Now we can head for that stargazer. So the stargazer back down here. Go back across again. Not too much more of this. There is a nice weapon we're going to get in a second here. And we will be leveling that up. I would suggest after this episode, if you guys, if you guys uh, need to level up some weapons, I mean, we are getting into the late game here. I would recommend if you want to, now that we have the, the availability to buy uh, all the basic uh, upgrade materials. I'd suggest if you want to buy some and level some of your weapons up as high as you can go, I'd suggest you do that. We'll start getting full moonstones pretty soon. I myself am going to do some farming after this episode. I have not been as lucky in this playthrough getting material drops. Okay, so let's let this guy come across if he can. Okay, so there's a crystal over here. We're going to rush that and destroy that. There's a big boy hiding behind that. This thing over here. So we're just going to rush in. Try and get this as quickly as possible. Steel Cutter Blade. This thing is pretty nice. Fire Great Sword. So we get A Scaling in Advance, DD, uh, Storm Slash, 
and guard parry on that one. So we'll be level on that up and be using that in the final, the final sections of the game here. Grab that. We do get other, two other acid weapons uh, later, a uh, little bit later. So it's up to you if you want to wait for those or level up your spear for now. Or just get an abundance of materials so you have enough if you want to try those out. Completely up to you. One of the ones we'll be getting, I will be using on one of the later bosses. So I plan to level that up as well. Trigger that. Another disruption crystal down there. that thing. Alright. Now, we do have another enemy over here. Uh, one of those shield carcass guys. usual strats for this guy. Still unsure as to who that potentially was originally. Okay, so we get Black Cat Sounding Attire and a Quartz. We got two Quartz in this area. It's pretty nice. So that about wraps this episode up, guys. We'll be continuing on in the next one. So hopefully you all enjoyed. Hopefully you're doing well. Stay tuned. More coming at you. Take care.